see for MPs, for members of parliament, on the on the average or in general, the longer they stay in parliament, the better they become in the performance of their functions. And I keep saying that it doesn't take one year, two years, three years, four years, in other words, one term to build the capacity of a member of parliament. It is more, much more than that. If you want to see the real relevance of a person, let him serve in parliament for two terms, and we we'll see how the person will blossom. If after two terms, into the third term, the person is not maturing, then perhaps you can draw your own conclusions. Of course, by our customs and traditions, if I come to you pleading for uh, to be some form of recognition, you ask, uh, maybe I may bring some cola nuts or maybe a pot full of uh, palm wine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe some envelope for your transportation to be at the center. I'm not too sure there is any place in this, in this country where from the person's place of residence to the constituency center where elections will be holding, um, the amount involved will be that to and fro will be 500 cities. I'm not too sure of that. That is moving from its place in the constituency to come and vote and then go back. It will cost more than 500 cities. And yet what are we seeing? So if you are seeing or hearing about figures above that, then there's something wrong. Then there's something wrong, and we must attend to it. I, 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 was, I was in Singapore um, about three weeks ago, and a member of parliament that I was having some discussion with told me in the face, what's happening in Ghana? We are hearing that you, you have some form of brokerage firm that is dealing with the, the selling and buying of votes. Oh, wow. And I said, really? There's nothing like that. Yeah. Then he was asking, is it true that people pay the equivalent of 200, 300 dollars? I was so shamefaced. I was, I was so shamefaced. And now, by what has come out from some research by the Interparliamentary Union, IPU, Ghana now is in the league of two countries where their parliaments have the highest attrition rates. It is nothing to be, pr to be proud about.